So when people ask about dabbing, <laughs> um, you know, does, does everybody know what dabbing is? No. 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 So it's, I guess it's sort of a new phenomenon, but not really because, you know, from early times, they were concentrating cannabis by making hashish, right? Uh, we don't know how, always how they were using it. They were probably smoking it often. Um, but now, you know, we have even more refined techniques with really good extraction efficiency. Um, and so you can take, you know, X amount of flour and get 25% of extraction efficiency and come back with a concentrate that's 80% THC. So if you have a gram of that oil, which fills 1.1 grams will fill a 1 cc syringe, how many milligrams of THC are in that syringe? 800 milligrams, right? That's a lot of THC. Who, what do you think an average dose of THC is? 25? Any other guesses? An, that was an effective dose. A range. Anybody have an idea? Four, five, Four, five ten. Well, you saw Marinol. It's in 2.5, 5, and 10. So that, that comes from clinical study, right? So 2.5, I mean, naive people might have really negative experiences on 2.5 milligrams of THC, whereas somebody else with a different endocannabinoid tone or a disease condition might experience nothing at 2.5 milligrams. But there are people myself included, that one milligram, I, I don't want any more than one milligram, personally. But we know that a 10 milligram dose is enough to cause side effects in most people, especially naive people. So those really high doses, you know, they either just take a, a dab of that oil, so what are we talking, 0.1 cc? And then sometimes they'll put it on top of their plant material or they'll just, you know, heat a titanium nail or a piece of glass and put it on there and inhale the vapor. And so they're getting a huge shot, a huge shot of THC.